Thunder Valley would like to say mahalo nui loa to hapa to come all the way. But but you know what? First we got to do, come on in here. And you got a little gift. We're gonna, we want to make sure you got that because, you know. Oh, oh man. Oh. oh, look at that. Why, why two sides? Smart. Tahitian. <laughs> I'm throwing a plug in there. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Just for all those folks out there who... Oh, look at that. So respectful. Isn't that nice? Hapa music is played all over the world. They love it. What is the magic of Hapa music? I think blending the contemporary, uh, keeping an eye on the language. But I mean, when you think about it, we recorded Modest Yahoo's One Day. Yep. Last year, the first record had a John Lennon song on it. So I think it's kind of the Hapa thing being, making sure it's like half contemporary, half uh, Hawaiian, and the Hawaiian stuff having more, as you know, of a contemporary feel to it than uh, traditional. And when you play Hawaiian music and you're doing 24 days in 24 days, how do you feel there, Ron? <laughs> um, at the beginning, I was good. I get a little bit tired, but uh, I try to keep my smile going. Aloha. All good. <laughs> That's wonderful. There's a resurgence of Hawaiian music worldwide, as well as it is in Europe. We've had the great pleasure of bringing a lot of Hawaiian acts here, and uh, it's had a wonderful response. Is it because of you? Well, no, no, because well, thank you know, you. Thank you. because of you guys. Thanks for the idea. Well, thank you, and thank you, Center Valley, because it's really their Thanks big idea. Valley. You know, do you find that that maybe because there's an indigenous flavor, and that people are looking for indigenous type of music? Uh, you know, for me, when I found out that in 1975 there were less than 20 adolescents that spoke the Hawaiian language, that was a big reason for me to kind of get out there into the country and bring uh, chanters like Charles Ka'upu and to be out there playing music that was from Hawaii. I felt that almost a sense of purpose. And then here we are, what, how many years later? 32 years later, and all right. of that music that inspired this group was by Ry Cooter and Gabby Pahinui. Wow is the music to The Descendants with George sure. Clooney that, that Alexander painted. It's kind of an interesting thing that uh, here we are 32 years later and Michael Keane on KMBR, all that music that he was playing, Ry Cooter and Gabby, Best of Gabby Band. Right. That's the music that really inspired me to come to Hawaii. And Ron was one of my really first uh, inspirations. You know, he was the, the Kenny Rankin, the James Taylor wow. of Hawaiian music then. Yeah. Ron, where do we take Hawaiian music now? Where do we go from here? Where do we go? Um, Wherever, uh, who wants it? You know what I Wherever mean? he Everybody wants us to. Mahalo, <laughs> on his road. <laughs> Whoever wants it, we're coming. Well, Thunder Valley wants to say thank you so much. And you know, it's an honor for me to be able to interview you because the last interview I saw you guys with my friend Peter Fonda. Oh, we love Peter, of course. <laughs> he is unbelievable. That's right. Travel around the world and in Japan as a kid with a pair of, not kid, but teenager with a pair of handlebar, you know, uh, handlebar. Right. Uh, uh, easy rider type. Easy rider. And he goes, oh, Peter Fonda. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like an icon. You know, so yeah. We want to say mahalo to Hapa here at Thunder Valley. Thank you, everybody. Give thanks and praise to the Lord And I'll feel all right Give thanks and praise to the Lord And I'll feel all right Brother Rock Polo! Great singing, you guys! Here we go!